hello guys welcome back so today i've really been having a day of revelation and clarification from the lord inside of my mind my body and my soul and guys i'm just saying this to myself and i'm gonna say it to us because we need to hear it stop stop trying to relate to everybody when you're different i'm different you're different we're different we're different we're different, we're different. We're not the same as everyone else, we are different. We couldn't be even more different if we tried and we don't even try and we're different. Stop trying to relate to everybody when you're different. We can't relate. They can't relate to us and we can't relate to them. So it doesn't make any sense. Yes, and that's just how it's gonna be. And we need to accept that. We don't need to feel sorry for being different. That's how God made us, we're different. And that's that. That's that. Yeah, you have nothing to talk about. That's it. It's not awkward. The conversation is not awkward. Nothing's awkward. We're different and that's all that there is to say. No, that doesn't make us better than you. We're just different. Let us continue living our different lives away from you. Honestly, that's really all I have to say, you guys. Stop trying to relate to everybody when you're different. Stop trying to relate to everybody when we're different. We can't relate. That's why it's so damn hard for us to communicate that's why it's so damn hard for us to communicate with people and to get to and, and to have conversations with people and, and to socialize with people that's why it's so hard for us because really and truly we know deep down inside that we don't relate and we don't resonate with anything they're saying we hear what they're saying and we could care less that's really the god honest truth and it's because none of it matters it's not the real truth so no wonder we find it so hard to socialize we should be wary of people who find it easy to socialize I'm wary of what's up in your mind. The purpose of us being on this earth was not to socialize, it was to serve God all the days of our lives. So we need to stop trying to fit in. Just stop trying to fit in. You, princess, stop trying to fit in. We weren't made to fit in. We were meant to be the, not awkward people, but we were just not meant to fit in, okay? Stop trying to fit in. That's over with. You know what? Maybe we should be flipping the tables around. Here's the thing, I don't want it to sound like covetousness, but at the same time, I'm not a covetous person. God knows my heart. But the righteous God searches the hearts and minds of his people. He knows me. All I'm trying to say is maybe we should switch. Maybe we should flip the tables. Maybe we should turn the cards over and say, hey, you don't fit in with me. You don't fit in with me. Hold on. You don't fit in with me. No, you can't sit with me because you don't fit in with me. You're not my style. You don't. You can't sit with me. On Wednesdays we serve God. You can't sit with me. Maybe that's the type of standard of living that we're gonna have to be at. Straight like that. I don't want. I don't want my battery to die. But this is what I'm trying to say. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We're living our lives by the grace of God. Okay. Uh, one more thing to say. One more thing to say, and then I'm gone. This kid keeps screaming. One more thing to say, and then I'm gone. Can I just testify the goodness and the glory of God? Can I just testify the goodness and the glory of the works of God? The, mag the magnitude of the works of God. Right now, I was just walking down the road talking about God. As I always, as we always do out here, you know what I'm saying? Because that's all we know. And some man in the Bronx, New York, a hood nigga, you know? He was rolling up his blunt and out of his soul, he just burst out and said, God bless you. Absolutely uncorrelated absolutely uncorrelated he was minding his business rolling his zoo, rolling his blunt and honestly we, we don't know the heart of man only god does but you know if i wanted to think in terms of flesh and carnality i wouldn't think that this man uh, thinks often of god or his view of god may not be accurate as we meet none of us do but my point here in saying that is y'all it just outbursts of his soul god bless you like it even sounded like he didn't even plan it like i don't even think he meant to say it like i think it just god came out of him I, yo it was amazing to me i don't know if you saw that but wow glory be to god yo. his people see him his people see him proud and then there's this happening but we know the goodness of god two different worlds one new york Glory be to God. That's all I wanted to say, guys. God is good. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hey, y'all. So right now, I'm sitting in the shelter. Um, in the rec room of the shelter. By myself. Because I decided I didn't want to go back to the room. And today's been really a day of revelation and clarification from the Lord, honestly. Glory be to God. And I just came to this revelation randomly. Writing in my book. As I do. 
What if I'm feeling all of the shame and the oppression of the people in the shelter that they hide and they put on personas of being confident and outlandish and hostile but inside there's shame and there's grief with being in the shelter. I mean, who wouldn't feel shame and grief for being in this predicament? I mean, it's only human and it's only demonic in Satan's kingdom for them to make us feel that way. But people, a lot of people try to put on facades and personas to cover up how they feel. A lot of people will try to present themselves in a, another way. Like, a lot of people act Supposedly to their feelings like some people act out their pain in anger some people act out their pain in sadness some people act out their pain in many different ways what if i'm just feeling the spiritual core of pain on this building because i'm that pure of a vessel i was just thinking my mad seriously glory be to god and i think that might be the case as crazy as it sounds because the way i've been feeling so ashamed ever since i got into this system i have nothing to be ashamed of I have nothing to be ashamed of. I've never been so ashamed in my life to the extent I was saying to God, this is not me. Like, I, I don't know what this is, but all I know is it's not me. It doesn't belong to me. It's external. It's demonic. It's probably possession and I need to be saved. Like I said, that for real, and it's serious. Like, this isn't me. I'm not ashamed of who I am. I've worked so hard to be who I am to the extent I'm here right now. Like, a spiritual warfare thing going on and oof it matters where you stay you guys so right now i'm down here writing as i always do my scrambles of life revelations and i'll read it anyways and then i'll go so i wrote and it was at that exact moment that i realized god makes no mistakes did you hear me everything happens for a reason Every single thing that has happened in my life was for a reason and is for a reason. The steps of a good man are ordered and ordained by the Lord of hosts. And he delight, he delighteth in his way. Psalms 37 verses 23. God is always with us for us. As we are him. So I'm just here. We're going to say half. And I said, I am him. Glory be to God. And we're walking the same path. Yeah, when I piece this story together, it's going to be so... God is a great author. Stay tuned. But listen, all I'm trying to say, yo, is it doesn't matter where we live. And it doesn't matter what the circumstance looks like. It doesn't matter what the situation is. None of it matters. God is good. And God is a great author. God is good and God is great. That's all you need to know. We're always in perfect alignment. No matter what we're doing, where we're doing it, when we're doing it, we're always in unison with the Lord. Now, if that ain't a blessing, I don't know what else is. So, y'all, we all can just just breathe out a sigh of relief, knowing that we were born in unison to the Lord. We don't have to worry that much. We don't have to worry. In fact, we we don't have to worry. So. Can you guys just imagine what it would be like if we weren't connected to the Lord and we actually had no idea, if none of this applied to us and we were just suffering and we saw no light at the end of the tunnel? Can you imagine a life without him? Because even before we knew him, he knew us and he loved us and he took care of us because he had a covenant with our ancestors and he's kept his promise. Just because we didn't know it, that didn't mean he wasn't still keeping it. God is faithful regardless of me and you and anybody. If he says something, he, he'll do it. So, y'all, we need to just... It's impossible for us to fail. If God is for us, who can be against us? No matter what walk of life we are, no matter what faith we are in, what path, it doesn't matter. His people are his people. And he has a promise to protect us and to guide us and to keep us safe. As long as we love him with all of our hearts. We love him with all of our hearts, minds and souls. And that's what's what I say guys. Keep going strong. Glory be to God. So yeah, I'm just looking through my notes when I was at home. My scribings with the Lord. I showed you. 
I love how he's made things, a, a whole movie. And I was thinking to myself right now, hallelujah, glory be to God. I'm a fierce warrior. And we live in Satan's kingdom. I know it's getting loud, but I just realized I'm gonna have to talk to you guys regardless because this is a movie in the making. All I'm saying here is, y'all, we need to re we need to reverse how we think because we live in Satan's kingdom. Therefore, Satan has made us think the reverse of what God is actually trying to tell us. So that means we're thinking reverse about what we should be doing and how we should be feeling. Why I say this is because I say to be fierce, to be a fierce warrior in this earth is perceived as someone who's violent and hostile and aggravated and that's really not the case it's actually a reversal to be a fierce warrior is all about what's in the mind it's not all about just strength and hostility it's also about emotional intelligence and mental intelligence you know i don't even know you know what i'm trying to say it's also about what's up in here mind body and soul mm -hmm. it's spiritual it's a spiritual thing you can be a fierce spiritual warrior because Whatever happens in the physical must first take place in the spiritual. To be a fierce warrior includes mind, body and soul. But that's not what the world will tell you. The world will tell you it's hostility and it's anger. And it's ignorance. That's what means a fierce warrior. We are fierce warriors by the grace of God. It's like our faith and the assuredness of our faith. Is, is, that's us fighting. That's us in battle mode. The more sure, the more certain we are of our faith, the fiercer we are as warriors. We're fierce warriors when we're certain of our faith. That's on God.